Welcome back to my channel, my fish and I. Today's species profiles all about the yellow lab cichlids. Yellow lab cichlids or peaceful beginner friendly fish. I found I started with probably like five of them and now I can't even count how much is in this um, 100 gallon. So the minimum tank size if you want a few should be like 30 gallon because these guys are active swimmers and they also breed like crazy. How you differentiate and know they're pregnant or they're having babies just like most cichlids they hold their, their mouth brooders. They hold their babies in their mouth till they're ready and turn free swimming and they spit them out. This girl right here, she's pregnant. You look under her chin, fish chin. You can see a sack of babies in her mouth. So she's not gonna be eating. She's just gonna keep them till they're free swimming to feel safe to spit them out and they're big enough to fend for themselves. Yellow lambs, I realize when you leave them in a smaller group, they're more aggressive towards each other. So, bigger the colony, they can diverse their aggression out towards one another. You know what I'm saying? They'll chase each other around here and there. But I re when I had five, they were more aggressive towards each other. Not to the other fish, but more towards, towards each other. So once the group got bigger, they're calmer with each other. You know what I'm saying? Look, even right here, you got some little babies hiding between the rocks. Get out of here, Jill. Get out of here. Babies hiding between the rocks. Babies everywhere in this tank. Hiding in between the rocks. These fish are a long-term commitment because they live, they could live up to literally 10 years. You know what I'm saying? They, and they grow about, this guy right here is around five to six inches. You know what I'm saying? So 10 years live long, like to breed. So you need good filtration on the tank. On this tank, a hundred gallon, I have an FX5, and a Heheim 2217. You know what I'm saying? These guys eat anything. I feed them anything from vegetables like zucchini. Feed them zucchini. I feed them carrots, peas, flakes, pellet, shrimps, worms. These guys eat almost anything. Your tank setup should have lots of hiding spaces, caves and rocks. And they love a sand substrate because they like to dig and make little holes in the sands. And they're very active swimming all over the tank. So from top to bottom, chase their little friends around. And as you can see, when you have a lot of hiding space, they give the baby a lot of opportunity to hide behind the rocks and survive. So that's why this tank is full of rocks. Temperature, I keep these guys between 23 degrees all the way up to like 32, 33 degrees. In the winter months, I have them around the 23 degree mark because there's no heater in this room. I just, uh, in this tank, I just heat the room. Summer months, it gets hotter. Damn. So, as long as you're consistent with their temperature fluctuation, you'll be good. They can survive a, a ride range. Lighting so much on the tank, they don't really care. Sometimes I have these this tank um, light off for weeks. But it's right beside a window, so they get a lot of natural light and they don't mind so they like it when they have that consistent 
day and night cycle, you know what I'm saying? So they get to sleep and have fun. Water permeators, they prefer water to be in an alkaline level, pH level between 7.8 to 8.6. You know what I'm saying? They like they like that water, so they can be like my water, so they're breeding. The, as I said, I started with five, and now I can't even count. The whole tank is being taken over by yellow labs. You know what I'm saying? Tank mates, as I said, most of the aggression, as you can look in the tank, I have OB peacock. They don't really even bother them. They're just really chasing each other. I have some via, via, um, Vegas. No, Geo Vegas. Sorry, I don't know. I'm thinking about my Vegas over there. I have some Geo Vegas in there. Don't really mess with them. You know what I'm saying? I have Mr. Tank Boss Black Nasty over here. Starry Night. Don't bother them either. I also have a chocolate pleco, a blissonos pleco, a Ralph cat that always hiding in his cave. You know what I'm saying? So they can get along. As I said, most of the aggression is towards them. So once you keep uh, clean water. I feed these guys three to four times a week, depending on the months. In the winter months, I'll feed them twice a week. In the summer months, I'll um, feed them three to four times a week. You know what I'm saying? They're not picky eaters. They're from Lake Mawali in Africa. So they're tropical fish, beautiful freshwater fish. As I said, peaceful for the most part. For a cichlid, you know, cichlid, they always be bickering, bickering here and there. Honestly, this guy is the one who, he's not a little lab, but he's the one that gives the most problem in this tank. And he's always chasing around the yellow lab, you know, because they look like him. So he's always going over there, flexing himself. But other than that, these are great, hardy, beginner fish and always active in beautiful beautiful yellow coloration please like and subscribe your support is greatly appreciated that's it thank you for watching